everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another how to build video. In this video, I'm showing you five fun ways you can decorate your chests inside of Minecraft so that they no longer look like these bland little chests right here. We have some interesting and awesome little ways we can go ahead and decorate our chests. Now, I noticed that you guys have been really enjoying these five build tutorial videos, and I've been enjoying them a lot as well. I get to take, you know, just five small videos and just condense it down into just one medium sized video for you guys. So, leaving those likes, guys, it really does make me get pumped and want to do these a lot more. Also, don't be afraid to comment in the section below. If you have any ideas you want me to do, maybe five of this or five of that, and maybe sometimes ten of this. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments section below. I'd really love to know. It would help me out a lot, too, because then I know what you guys want me to build. But today is going to be a five fun ways you can decorate your chest. So instead of just having these normal little chests right here out in the open, you want to have some decorations to, you know, really spruce up your room and things like that. These are very simple to do. And guys, if you're new to my channel, I use redstone with everything. So no matter what, I'm going to be using redstone inside of these builds. So the first one's a very simple one and it's actually really cool because you could decorate these any which way you want this is just going to be a very simple barrel now guys you could decorate this barrel however you like because the minecart is right underneath here so if i go bloop there's a minecart with a chest right underneath the barrel so you can go ahead right into your minecart with the chest and you can decorate your barrel however you like it also doesn't need to be up against the wall it can be right in the middle of a room the next one's going to be the easiest one out of all of them, and this is just going to be a simple toy chest. You can actually put paintings around the sides of a uh, chest, if you did not know, by going into the sneak mode. So if we go ahead and open up the top, here we have a nice little toy chest that you can put inside of a kid's room. All you have to do is just spruce it up with a few paintings around it, guys. Very simple way to, you know, spruce up these chests. Now, the next one is going to be a little bit redstone related, and this is going to be a very simple working safe. Now, guys, I built a monstrosity of a safe, a working safe, just a little bit ago, maybe a week or two ago. If you want to check out that video, it's in the description below, but that's for more like advanced redstone people. This one is just a very simple safe. Now, if you did not know, a comparator could pick up what's inside of an item frame. However, we are going to be using a cauldron. As you can see, our chest is right down there, and I have an awesome way to hide that chest as well. If you wanted to use a little bit more redstone, we can hide that chest up so you don't see anything down there at all. But but since there is an item frame on the front of this uh, cauldron right here, it won't do anything because that is not a full block and it cannot send power to the comparator. However, if we use water and a glass bottle, place water inside of our cauldron, boom, our safe opens up and now we can access our chest underneath it. And like I said, I have a way of completely hiding this chest if you would like to. And then just close it up. Just take the water out of the cauldron and boop, it closes up. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. Place the water in the cauldron. Our safe opens up and then just take the water out and it'll go ahead and close. Now, next up for number four is going to be a pantry closet. Now, I've shown this in one of my older videos, but it was so pretty much complex and things like that. I condensed it down, guys, made this thing so easy to make, but it's a working pantry closet. So when you go into a kitchen and you know you have all your cereals and oatmeal and whatever you have inside the pantry closet, as you can see, I used the bookcases because, you know what, it looks like cereal boxes. You know, you got cereal boxes, maybe sugar or salt in there. But if we left click on it, bloop, as you can see, we can go into four different minecarts. It's absolute working pantry closet guys that thing is awesome like i said i've done this in the past however i condensed it down and made it so much easier to build and now for number five is going to be a chest underneath a bed so all i did was place a few chests inside of minecarts underneath the bed and now we can go ahead and access them as you see boop we are accessing them now for people who are going to say it no it does not work if you just take a chest and a bed and then you know if you go ahead and place down a bed and then break out the blocks underneath it like this like that and then you place a chest underneath here and let's go ahead and just fix this floor before i go insane <laughs> i like making sure everything looks nice you cannot access the chest under the bed as you can see i cannot go inside of it i cannot go inside of it. it's just going to keep telling me i have to sleep at night guys so you can only make the working chest work by placing them inside of mine carts like this so let's go ahead and start up on all these builds guys they're all fairly simple to build some are a little more redstone related but all of them are very very easy to build and i hope it spruces up your world a tiny bit now normally i like to do these huge big resource lists and things like that but these are very easy to build guys we're going to fly right through these the whole way through so inside this chest i have all the resources you're really going to need for this build you're just going to need a rail a minecart with a chest two wooden trap doors that depends on which way you're going to make your barrel like i said you could change up your barrel to however you like we're also going to just need a dark oak plank for your barrel and four signs and i don't know why i have this block of quartz in here but i'll take that out <laughs> i absolutely have no idea why that's in there oh you know what i need a block to place the minecart with okay there we go so like i said you could put this right in the middle of a room guys it really doesn't matter just break down a block place in a wooden trap door then we're going to place a block right above this wooden trap door place in our rail 
place it in our minecart with a chest go ahead and break it let that fall right down there onto the wooden trap door and that's it guys so now all we have to do is just place a block right above it like this and boop that's it so as you can see i can access my minecart if you look right between these two blocks like this you can go ahead and access your minecart there it is we can go around this whole block guys and access this minecart that's why i said you can go ahead and dress up your barrel however you like all i did was i placed some signs around it however since it's not on the wall i can't place in that uh pressure uh the wooden trap door sorry you know what might look good you know what might look good on top of it a daylight sensor actually might look really that actually doesn't look too bad that does not look too bad you can actually change the color of the daylight sensor but like i said guys you can go crazy with this if you want to you can even put trap doors around it let's go ahead and put trap doors around and see how that looks so if we place our trap doors upside down make sure you do put them upside down though because i'm pretty sure you can't access it if it's this way right yeah you can't access the minecart when it's that way but if we put it upside down like that we could still access our minecart but as you can see boom 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 there you go we have a new barrel and you know what let's see what uh ooh, let's use brown carpet what's what's brown carpet gonna look like on top of it Eh, that doesn't look too good. How about a slab? I'm afraid to use a slab, though, because it might make it look too big. I don't want our barrel to look too big. It's not that bad. That is not that bad, actually. So, you guys go. There is the working barrel. And like I said, you can dress it up however you like. All right, guys. For number two is going to be our toy chest. This thing is super, super easy to build. All you need is just three paintings, two chests two trap doors i do not know why i only have one in there but we're going to need two wooden trap doors and at least four blocks of choice because it's going to be going on a wall of some sort so all you need to do is you know just find a wall inside your house there's our four blocks for our wall place down a chest and now next up all you have to do is just go into sneak mode and place in your paintings now i like the creeper at the front because i feel like that looks more like a toy chest see i just have that it just feels like more of a toy chest and then you can just go ahead and use whatever paintings you want i would probably try to get something a little bright looking because like i said a toy chest is a little more bright looking let me go ahead and place a block here because then i know i'm just going to keep getting two high ones so just try to find like really bright looking ones that's not too bad just have the same ones on both sides then all you have to do is just place wooden trap doors right above it and boom there you guys go a very simple toy chest inside of a kid's room all right now it's time to get a little uh redstone savvy here so let's go ahead and get our resources and yeah you can see we're gonna need a few things here you're gonna need at least one sticky piston one redstone comparator four redstone one redstone torch a lever a cauldron an item frame we're also going to need a water bucket a glass bucket but we'll take those things out later on and we're also going to need a chest now if you want to build a more advanced one where you can hide the chest completely we're also going to need a piston a block of redstone a minecart with a chest and a rail but we'll jump into that later on and also let's take out some blocks of choice we're going to need and i'm just going to keep the whole entire floor the entire time some oak planks so we're gonna to have to just follow along guys this is where it's going to get a little bit more complicated but i made sure that it doesn't really take up any much room. let's go and look at the redstone let's see guys it's not crazy nothing super crazy over here just a little bit of digging down and just make sure that you follow along perfectly so obviously we're going to find a wall first so let's go ahead and pretend uh this is our wall this is our wall right here so now what we're going to go ahead and do is just place down our cauldron right off of our wall right here so here goes our cauldron we no longer need that then just place an item frame off the front of it and then go ahead and take your lever and place your lever inside of the item frame that will make it look like the dial for your safe oh you know what? we're also gonna need carpet we're also gonna need gray carpet i did not put it in there so let's go ahead and just take that out right now we no longer need our lever so let's go ahead and take out a piece of gray carpet right there and just place it right on top of it like that next up we're going to come behind it, and like i said this is where your wall's going let's go ahead and break this let's go ahead and break that <laughs> this is where your wall's going to be so we're going to take our comparator and place our comparator coming out of this block now if you place water inside of your cauldron so if we take our uh water bucket here and our glass bottle if we place water in it boom our comparator comes on and then if we take it all out our comparator goes off comes on and goes off perfect now all we have to do is just bring our power down to our sticky piston that's going to be going right in front of it so what you're going to do is now dig down three blocks right in front of your safe. So one, two, three, place the sticky piston facing upwards with your block of choice right on top of it. We're going to be using oak planks. Now what we have to do is just bring the power from our comparator down to here. So what I like to do is just come out one block from it. So let's go ahead and change the color up to, uh, let's use a different color. Let's go ahead and just use yellow so we can see what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and place one piece of redstone in front of it. We need to place at least three pieces of redstone down from this comparator. Then we're going to come down two blocks. Let's go ahead and change the color again. So now there we have two pieces of redstone. We need to do it one more time. So one, two, three. Let's go ahead and change the color up again and place another piece of redstone right here. So now we have three pieces of redstone going down in a nice little staircase motion down here. Now what we're going to have to do is just dig out this area until you find your sticky piston right over here. So let's go ahead and just do this. We're going to go ahead and just dig out this area. Make sure you can see your sticky piston right here. And then I'm just going to quickly change up the color right here just so we can see everything. So right off this line of redstone right down here, we're just going to place in a redstone torch place one piece of redstone coming off of it there's all four pieces of our redstone and then just place a block right in front of it and that's it guys that's the entire build so when we place it in boop it opens up and when we take it out boop it closes opens closes perfect and now all you have to do is just place one chest right underneath it like that and there you guys have it so uh boop opens up boop closes boop opens up 
boop, closes. Now, this is for people that want to completely hide this guy. You want to completely hide this chest right here. You don't want anyone to see it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to break all of this. We're going to put it back. Don't worry. We're just going to break it all for now. And then what I want you also to do is place one more block right here. Next up, go ahead and break your chest and then break down one more block here so you can see your sticky piston and place your chest down here instead. Next up, what we're going to do is place a block right here next to this one. Place a rail on top of it. Place your minecart with a chest on top of the rail and then just break it and let it fall into place. Now, as you can see, it's not popping out of the ground because thanks to that chest right down there, it's kind of dropping your minecart with a chest just a tiny bit. Next up, all you have to do is just push any one of these three blocks into your minecart with a chest. So let's go ahead and just go this way. Break this block right here. Place a piston off of it. Send power to it. And now we cannot see that minecart with a chest at all anymore. So now all we have to do is just place our blocks back into place like this. So boop, boop, boop. Hide everything up. Let's go ahead and place in our cauldron again. And our we're going to also need our item frame and our lever. So go ahead. Oh, I got rid of my lever. Completely forgot. <laughs> so let's go ahead and place down our cauldron right here. Then we're going to place our item frame off the front of it with our lever. And then we're also going to need our carpet. So we're going to place our carpet right on top of it. And now, as you can see, we can't see anything underneath it. So now all we have to do is just take out our water bucket and our glass bottle. Let's go ahead and just remove everything out of the way so we can see it better. So boop. So when I go boop like that, it opens up and we can go inside our minecart with a chest. And then when we close it, just boop. And now it's completely closed. And as you can see, we cannot see any chests under there. But there you guys have it. All right, guys, number four on the list is going to be our working pantry closet, which is actually one of my most favorite things to build because, guys, who doesn't want a working pantry closet inside of their kitchen? It just looks so much better than having a bunch of random chests inside your kitchen. So let's go ahead and get our resources out for this build. We're going to need at least four wall blocks, two pistons, one block of redstone, four minecarts with chests, two rails, four bookshelves, and two spruce doors. Now, if you want to change your doors up, go ahead. And if you want to change up the blocks in here, go ahead as well. But I really think the bookshelves look really good because it kind of looks like, you know, sugar, salt, have some cereals in there, oatmeal, and things that would be inside of a pantry closet. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to need to actually have a wall first before we do this. So let's go ahead and just build up a wall real quick. This isn't going to be your blocks that you need, but th let's just pretend that this is our wall right here. And you know what? Let me go ahead and just make it a little bigger. It's going to it's going to annoy me if I get rid of the wall and then everything looks bad. So let's pretend this is our wall right here. So what you're going to have to do is dig out this area right here and then have four blocks back here. That's the four blocks that you're going to need. So next up, just place your blocks in, then go ahead and place in your rails and then place in both your mine carts with chests. Now what we're going to do is break these blocks, so bloop, bloop, like that, and let our minecarts fall into place. Next up, go ahead and take out your bookshelves. You can change up the color however you like, but I feel like the bookshelves look the best inside a pantry closet. Then go ahead and place in your piston facing towards it like that. And another one over here facing inwards towards that bookshelf like this. Next up, take out your redstone block. Just send power to it, and it will push it right in the place. And there you guys have it. It is that easy. As you can see, I can access my minecarts with chests. And now we just have to do it one more time. So break these two blocks up here. Place in two blocks above them. Place in your two rails. Place in your two minecarts with chests. Let them break down and fall into place. Make sure you pick up your rails so you don't lose them. Go ahead and place in your bookshelves. So one, two, like that. Now we're going to place in our pistons facing towards it. So I'm just going to go like this with my redstone block. And no, actually, I'll activate it. So just come out two blocks like this and then send a piston right here like that. And do the same thing on this side. Just come out one more block right here and place in your piston like that. And all we have to do is just send power to those pistons. So bloop, bloop. Send power to them with your redstone block like that and break everything. And there you have the second story of it done. Now all we have to do is just hide up all our minecarts by placing in our walling block of choice. And then just take out whatever doors you're going to be using. I'm going to be using spruce doors and place them in backwards like so. So place in a door right here and place in a door like that. And there you guys have a working pantry. So boop, boop. I can go inside of every single minecart and you can fill it up with food or whatever you like inside of Minecraft. And now last but not least is going to be our chests underneath our bed right here. So as you can see, I can access both minecarts with chests underneath our bed like that perfect so let's come over here and see what we need for this build so we're going to need at least two powered rails a block of redstone two mine carts with chests four wooden trap doors a bed we're also going to need a walling block of choice i'm just going to be using blue and my oak planks is going to be for my flooring so what we're going to first do is let me go ahead and just build the wall up i'll bring it right down like that and we're going to go ahead and just build up our wall like so there we go so now my bed i want to put it right here look so you're going to place in your bed first and then you're going to break out these four blocks one two three four next up you're going to take out your wooden trap doors and place wooden trap doors along all of these blocks make sure they are on the bottom portion of the block so there we go place all four in then we're going to take out our two powered rails i'm just going to go like this and then just send power to them like that and then all you have to do is just place a minecart and let it fall down there like so and we're going to do the same thing on this side so break your rails but before we actually do that push it underneath your bed now just come down here and push it underneath your bed by gently pushing it like that 
Now, if it gets out of order, I get a little OCD with things. So if it does, if it's like crooked and things like that, I go a little crazy with these things. But if it's uh, if you if you don't mind it being crooked, guys, it doesn't really matter. But I don't like mine being crooked. So if you accidentally like push it out of the way, just redo it again. I don't know if you're like me, but we're gonna come right here, send power to it, push our minecart in like that, boop. And now what we have to do is just push it underneath the bed. So boop do 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 do, push it right underneath the bed like that. Now what we have to do is just remove all this right here. Next up, all you have to do now is just break those wooden trap doors and place in your blocks like this. Now, if you cannot simply place in your blocks, that means you'll have to push the chest inside of minecart just a little bit more. So if you can't place in your block, guys, just come down here and just make sure that it's pushed as far over as possible. And then you should be able to place your blocks in. But there you guys go. Now you should be able to access your chest underneath your bed by going like that. As you can see, I went right inside it. So bloop inside of it right here and bloop like that. Perfect. And we can go on this side as well and go inside of them. Boom and boom but there you guys have it that's five fun ways you could decorate your chest inside of minecraft if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos and like i said guys leave comments in the section below let me know if you want me to do something else crazy with five builds and i'll try my best at it all right guys peace